Next, we have violations. What do we have to know about a violation? Well, for starters, any violation that's in the penal law will be expressly defined as a violation. So anything in the penal law that's a violation will be expressly defined as a violation. Now we have what happens if there's an offense defined outside of the penal law that's not expressly designated a violation? When is it deemed a violation? And we have two circumstances when it's deemed a violation. A is if there's no specification in the law about what it is. So it doesn't say this is a traffic infraction, this is a misdemeanor, or this is a anything. It just has a law, says this is an offense, and the sentence has an offense that's not in excess of 15 days. Or the only sentence that's allowable is a fine. Okay, so what makes what makes that a violation? So let's say there is some kind of like ordinance in the agricultural and markets law, and it says, if you do this, the sentence is a $100 fine. Well, it doesn't say anything about what the classification is, and the sentence that they provide is only a fine. So what does that mean it is? It's a violation, according to sub A. B, I don't think they're ever going to ask this, but just read it once. It's a sentence to a term of imprisonment of excess of 15 days provided, and that, that particular statute was enacted prior to the effective date of this penal law being passed, but the offense was not a crime prior to that. So basically, just because they used to have laws that you could go to jail for more than 15 days, but they weren't actually a crime, that would be considered a violation. That They're not going to ask that. I'd be shocked. Just read it once. So again, just to review, what are violations? Violations in the penal law are expressly designated as violations. Violations outside the penal law, which are not expressly defined as violations, are deemed violations if there's a sentence of only a fine or a sentence of up to 15 days in jail or in prison, okay? And the key here is that the law ordinance defining it does not designate the offense to be something else. Thing to be aware of is that violations are not subclassified or anything. So. If you look at Article 55, they have the classifications of felonies and misdemeanors in numbers one and two. It just goes into the designation of offenses.